I don't know the history of Antarctica. Like, was it always frozen over like that? They're just now discovering that it did, in fact, used to have vegetation on it. There's this theory out there that there is, in fact, a pyramid would be the world's largest pyramid in Antarctica. Like an old one. Wow. Yeah, and there's satellite images Whoa. to where it's so equal on the four sides. Like wow. The Buzz Aldrin, he said, we are all in danger. It is evil itself. No. Beneath the icy expanse of Antarctica lies a hidden world that has captivated scientists and adventurers alike. In recent years, groundbreaking discoveries have unveiled secrets buried under miles of ice, challenging our understanding of this remote continent. They were portraying Antarctica as a, as a dead continent. 30 years ago, we had a vision that it can't be dead, and now we showed it in this short time. Our continent shouldn't be shown as this white block. These revelations offer glimpses into Earth's distant past and hint at the possibility of life in the most extreme environments. Dive into the fascinating tale of Antarctica's hidden secrets and explore what researchers have unearthed beneath the frozen surface. So now there's life down there. This is the first glimpse of life. Ancient ice cores are like windows into Earth's climatic history, offering some of the most detailed and continuous records of our planet's climate over the past 800,000 years. These cores, cylindrical samples drilled from ice sheets and glaciers in places like Antarctica and Greenland, have been pivotal in understanding our climatic past. Two significant projects in this field are the European Project for Ice Coring in Antarctica and the Vostok Drilling Project. EPICA has been conducted at two sites in East Antarctica, Dome C and Conan Station, with the Dome C core reaching back an impressive 800,000 years. Meanwhile, the Vostok project, located at Russia's Vostok Station, has provided ice core records extending 420,000 years into the past. We have a special drill that drilled down very quickly to the bottom, and we worked round the clock. The structure of these ice cores is fascinating, consisting of layers of snow and ice that have accumulated over millennia. Each layer is like a page in a history book representing a year or season, much like the rings of a tree. Scientists analyze these cores for trapped gas bubbles, isotopic composition and particulate matter, which reveal past atmospheric conditions, including greenhouse gas concentrations such as CO2 and methane, temperature variations, and even records of volcanic activity. The findings have been groundbreaking. Ice cores have unveiled natural cycles of glacial and interglacial periods, driven by changes in Earth's orbit and axial tilt, known as Milankovitch cycles. They also show that current levels of greenhouse gases are unprecedented in the last 800,000 years. Moreover, the data indicates rapid climate shifts, such as the Younger Dryas event around 12,000 years ago, and layers of volcanic ash within the ice provide a timeline of significant eruptions, helping to correlate global climate events. The event that happened is called the Younger Dryas. Initially, it was a, 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 an extreme climate event. Comparing ice cores to tree rings or sedimentary rock layers highlights their unique ability to capture atmospheric composition, directly linking climate and greenhouse gases over time. Lake Vostok, discovered in 1996 beneath Russia's Vostok Station in East Antarctica, is another marvel of our planet's extreme environments. This subglacial lake, one of the largest in the world, lies under approximately four kilometers of ice, making it incredibly isolated and extreme. See, this is one of the fifth largest lakes on our planet. We've never been there. We only, for, for over 10 years, we only guessed that they were there. Lake Vostok spans about 12,500 square kilometers roughly the size of Lake Ontario in North America, with an estimated volume of around 5,400 cubic kilometers. The lake reaches depths of about 500 to 900 meters, formed between 15 to 25 million years ago due to tectonic activities and glacial coverage. Lake Vostok has been sealed under ice for millions of years, creating a unique isolated environment maintained by geothermal heat and pressure from the overlying ice, which prevents it from freezing completely. The scientific significance of Lake Vostok is immense. Ice cores drilled near the lake provide a continuous climate record for the past 400,000 years, offering invaluable insights into Earth's climatic history. The extreme isolation and unique conditions of the lake could harbor life forms adapted to its dark, high-pressure and nutrient-limited environment, sparking astrobiological research, as similar conditions might be found on icy moons like Europa and Enceladus, 
Studying the lake could reveal new biogeochemical processes and microbial life forms, enhancing our understanding of life's adaptability and resilience. Lake Vostok's characteristics draw a fascinating comparison to Jupiter's moon Europa, both being ice-covered and harboring liquid water beneath thick ice shells. This makes Lake Vostok a terrestrial analog, helping scientists develop methodologies and technologies that could one day be used to explore Europa and other icy bodies in the solar system. However, exploring Lake Vostok presents significant challenges. The immense ice cover requires advanced and clean drilling technologies to prevent contamination of the pristine lake. Russia's Antarctic program successfully penetrated the lake in 2012 using a special drilling fluid and a thermal drill. Ensuring the protection of Lake Vostok's ecosystem is paramount, necessitating strict protocols and sterilization techniques to avoid introducing foreign microbes and pollutants. Preliminary analyses of water samples from the lake have hinted at microbial life, but more definitive studies are needed to confirm these findings. There's also river systems that we believe rival the Amazon. Future missions aim to explore the lake's sediments, which could contain ancient microorganisms and provide clues about past climatic conditions. Fossil forests discovered in the Transantarctic mountains offer compelling evidence that Antarctica once hosted much warmer climates and lush green landscapes. These fossils, dating back millions of years, include remains of ancient trees, plants, and even entire forest ecosystems. The Transantarctic Mountains, a major range running across Antarctica, are home to many of these fascinating finds. Notable sites include Mount Akinar, where fossils of Glossopteris, an extinct seed fern and other plant species have been discovered, and Beardmore Glacier, where fossilized wood and leaves provide a snapshot of the lush forests that once thrived there. Many of these fossil forests date back to the Permian period, between 299 and 252 million years ago, when Antarctica was part of the supercontinent Gondwana. Additional fossil evidence from the Cretaceous period between 145 and 66 million years ago suggests the continued presence of forests as the continent began drifting towards its current polar position. The presence of temperate and even subtropical plant fossils indicates that Antarctica once experienced much warmer and more humid climates. Fossils found include a variety of plant species such as ferns, conifers and seed-bearing plants like Glossopteris, pointing to a rich, biodiverse ecosystem. Analysis of these fossils provides insights into past CO2 levels, precipitation patterns and ecosystem structures. The fossil forests of Antarctica can be compared to the fossilized remains of ancient forests found in other parts of the world, such as the petrified forests in Arizona, USA. Both sites offer a glimpse into Earth's distant past, showcasing how dramatically different the planet's climate and geography were millions of years ago. However, Antarctic fossil forests are particularly striking given their current location in one of the coldest, most inhospitable regions on Earth. In 2022, the wreck of Ernest Shackleton's ship Endurance was discovered in the Weddell Sea. This find marked the end of a century-long mystery surrounding one of the most famous maritime losses in Antarctic exploration history. The ship, remarkably well-preserved, offers a direct link to Shackleton's legendary 1914-1917 Imperial Trans-Antarctic Expedition. The wreck was found approximately 3,000 meters below the surface, about four miles south of the position originally recorded by the ship's captain, Frank Worsley. The cold, dark, and low-oxygen environment of the deep Weddell Sea has preserved the ship incredibly well, inhibiting the growth of wood-eating organisms. The name Endurance was clearly visible on the ship's stern, confirming the identity of the wreck. The Endurance expedition, led by Ernest Shackleton, aimed to make the first land crossing of Antarctica. However, the ship became trapped in the pack ice of the Weddell Sea and was eventually crushed and sunk. Shackleton and his crew's subsequent struggle for survival and eventual rescue is one of the most extraordinary stories of endurance and leadership in the annals of exploration. The discovery was made using advanced underwater search technology, including autonomous underwater vehicles equipped with high-resolution sonar and cameras. The mission was conducted by the Falklands Maritime Heritage Trust with a team of marine archaeologists, historians and technicians. The wreck is a poignant reminder of the heroic age of Antarctic exploration and the indomitable spirit of explorers like Shackleton. 
The preservation of the ship offers an unparalleled opportunity to study early 20th century shipbuilding techniques and materials. The discovery reignites interest in Shackleton's story and the lessons of leadership, perseverance and teamwork. The discovery of the Endurance can be compared to the finding of the RMS Titanic in 1985. Both wrecks represent significant historical and technological milestones of their times and were found using cutting-edge underwater exploration technology. Each discovery has captivated the public imagination and provided invaluable insights into maritime history and the human stories associated with these iconic ships.